everybody welcome back to another episode of backpack hero it's me control alt silent i have no idea why i did the intro that way because it was totally bass backwards but whatever uh last time we played around a little bit with the robot which is kind of cool but a little more technical than i was prepared for so we got our asses handed to us uh this time or uh rather last time we uh, also switched over to the frog and the frog has like a tarot card combat system very Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon-esque uh so we uh we made it through a little bit of the crypt and on to where we are now so we're just gonna pick up where we left off and without any further ado let's continue so here's where we were we can go down here let's see want to see what i have today i absolutely do so you're some i don't even know what kind of creature you're supposed to be but you're smoking a japanese tobacco pipe which is very interesting and we have carvings and the carvings cost us money okay so these are the spiky ones those deal seven damage this is a green candle can be played over other items carvings behind are discarded this carving is discarded so that just allows you to destroy a carving so you can clear out space that's a tree shield which we have and adds two block for each carving played this combat that could be very very powerful we don't have enough uh, money for it so we're just gonna move on uh do we want to do combat or just move on in the crypt i have a feeling we might need whatever's in that corner, so we're going to go here. So we want to put this here, this here, that, attack, attack, attack. Perfect. There's the rat wolf. We're going to damage, guard, guard so these are almost like extra actions that you can do every turn or something and then these are the ones that you get to recycle and i don't know what these ones are so uh 10 damage i won't be able to completely do enough damage but it's pretty much all we have so eat a meal oh never mind we did have just enough um so i can't the, the thing with this character is it's all about your carvings. So the um, the whatchamacallits, the like normal items that the rat thrives on don't really work for this character, but the carvings are great. Whereas the carvings can't be used by any other character and the robot uses all of the um, the like circuitry and stuff. So you have to basically you automate what it does through the circuitry which seems like the hardest thing to do right now so uh we're just gonna basically stick with what we have there's no point in changing anything because like i said oh no 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 i want to see what this is uh tis a squirrel hark you are greeted by a member of the patrol uh the squirrel looks at you absentmindedly long ago i retired from the patrol he says now i spend my days adventuring and reveling relving my glory days is that supposed to be reliving uh i don't need much of my old equipment anymore can i interest you in something uh i'll take a weapon he reaches into his tunic and pulls out a weapon tossing it to you Ooh, what is this a vorpal blade This so item gets on use, deals eight damage twice. Oh, that's awesome. It goes snicker snack. Oh, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, that is a shout out to um, Alice in Wonderland. Fighting the Bandersnatch and the. What was the other thing called? Oh, that's going to bother me. In the comments below, if you can remember, there's the Bandersnatch and the Jabberwocky. That's what it is. Bandersnatch and the Jabberwocky. Um, cool. So now we have this super awesome weapon that deals 16 damage or deals 10 damage twice. 
So it deals 20 damage. But it takes two energy to use. Hmm. I'm paying attention this time. You're not going to sneak up on me, game. All right. Ah, purple snail tastes like grape. Yay! We're going to... Summon all three of them. We're going to summon... 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 Deal... 20 damage, and then just take 13 damage in the face, because... You know, that's what we do. What is that? That's right. It will summon an enemy. No, you won't. I will just end combat right there. Thank you very much. Now, uh, more. Two, three, four. I wish there was a way to, you know, make just the... The equipment... We're definitely taking that. I wish there was a way to make it so that you could expand either the illusory um, slots or the normal slots. I think that'd be kind of cool. We're going to put that right there, though we're probably not going to actually end up using it. That deals 16 damage. That deals 20. Uh, and I'm not giving up my shield because I'm just not that. I'm too paranoid, and I suck enough at this game. Okay. Another purple snail! Yay! Okay, so... We're going to take... We don't need that one. We need this one. And that one. And now this does 15 damage. That's right. We are totally putting this there, then. Because we're going to attack for 20. And then attack for that. That... Okay, I'm starting to get the feel for combat for this. Okay, this is Mossy Carving deals one damage. This uh, one is uh, when an adjacent consumable is used, this item gets 10 damage, okay? And another block and adds great luck, but the carving is banished, which means um, we are taking all the carvings because I can which means that we can only use it once. Cool. Pathway blocked. Small rat wolf and hermit crab bomb. Okay, we're going to do this and this and then do that. We're going to end our turn and if he doesn't set his count down this turn, we're going to great luck kill him flat out and spike him then he does that so we're gonna do this 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 that and turn put that one up there do this and that and that yeah i should probably do my math a little better taking all of these dark headband gives mana weapons in this column get 200 percent damage this combat i can't really lay that down very well yeah we're just gonna finish there it's interesting. Each character has a different inventory management quirk to it, so that's kind of nice. Uh, 14. We could grab another one of these because that's a really awesome one. Survival Guide. This item gets negative one to all status effects, removes three from all status effects on everyone. This carving is discarded. And the testicles. I'm sorry, cherry bombs. Um, weapons behind get 300% damage bonus. Weapons behind this are used, and weapons behind this are destroyed. Oh, that one's tricky, tricky. Wait, that one costs six? No. No, we're good. We are good. Uh, we'll go down to this one. Crack that open. Ooh, 
Choose an item. Overgrown axe deals nine damage. That does mana. This does more damage, and that gives us another one of those. We're gonna grab that. Yeah, I like it. Uh, perfect. Okay, so a vole and a gerbil ruffian. We are going to put this here. This deals one damage. Hmm. We're going to do this and that and that. That takes out him. Now we're only left with the gerbil ruffian. Not quite sure when all of these cute caged critters got all uh, bibbledy, but why the hell not? We're going to summon that and that and some of that and then add this because we're going to get clobbered. So we might as well regen a little bit of health. Uh, add this. Add that. And that. Gotcha. Okay. So... For each space to the right, this gets plus five block, more regen, replace with an empty cup, draw another carving. So if we put that there, we put that there, and we put that there, then those two have synergy. And we're good. We'll move on. I'm going to save the game while I'm sitting right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I wanted to... Hmm, hi. Howdy there. I don't trust you, Mr. Otter. Well, howdy, she says as you approach. Miss Otter, sorry. Jesus. Her nose wiggles and she shakes her gigantic tail. I've been doing some fishing. Care to buy one? Uh, no, thank you. I... I appreciate it. The offer is tempting. Holy... Mm, lots of monsters. Okay. Gonna do this, gonna do this, gonna do that, because I'm gonna have to tank a lot of damage, including it looks like a curse. We're going to target that one then and do as much damage as possible. End our turn. Uh, skip the curse, take four damage. That's all I really can do gonna grab that going to demolish your ass do that uh deals one damage we're gonna put that there i guess okay overgrown axe deals nine damage so we'll put that there put that there uh That does only 10 damage. He had 21 hit points. Why did he die? I'm so confused. Uh, what's this? This is a dreaming buckler. When the carving is summoned, you get four block. When you use it, you get four more block. I'm not going to complain about getting a little more block here and there. This enemy gets plus... This item gives plus one, gets plus one damage to enemy for each adjacent item. This gets plus one damage to itself and it deals 12 damage. This deals way more damage. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep what we have, I guess. Why not? Um, we don't have any keys. We don't have enough money for the blacksmith, so we'll just onward to battle. Okay. So, two of these are going to screw me. We'll put this here. And this here. And use that. To tank the damage. Then we'll damage. 
damage. Summon. Cool. This one is the one that does the eight damage or whatever when it's summoned. Good. Um, wait, wait, what's this? This just... Deals four damage, block, 20 damage, and turn. Cool. Do that, do that, and that, and turn. I can totally hear the Yu-Gi-Oh theme song going on in the background as she's like whooping people's asses with cards or carvings or whatever you want to call them. Gotcha. I'm actually a big fan of this carving system. Uh, it takes a different approach than the normal system, but I'm not opposed to it. It works really well and it feels really good. It's amazing that there are three different, I mean, completely different play styles. It's not like a class system where one character might use an axe and one character might use a sword. Like these are completely different play styles. This game is amazing as far as programming is concerned like well done devs well done um in the future there's supposed to be like another character too i think sometime in september there's supposed to be an update for another character and uh, if you guys do end up enjoying this video let me know in the comments below and we'll keep uh, kind of grinding through it what is that that is the ferret king okay i don't want to fight the ferret king but I need to collect stuff. Um, this carving, the weapon behind gets plus two damage this turn. The When a shield is used, this item gets negative one. This, ooh, that one's another one of the ones that we summon and get damage. So we're going to take that one. We're going to run back here because, yeah, I forgot. We have 21. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab another wand because if two wands cropped up at the same time, this thing would do an absolute ton of damage yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep that ferret king here we come we're gonna go right here and i'm gonna save it because well i'm a coward but well eh, no i'm not really a coward but i understand the limitations of my own abilities <laughs> and so far i've really sucked at um making this happen so here we go ferret king Oh, it's a ferret, not a... What did I say? It was a puma or something? Okay, we're going to put this here. We're going to summon that, do some damage. And then 20 damage. And then that to do more damage. Sure. Oh, he hit a little harder than I thought he was going to. We're going to put this up here. This right here. And this right here. And then do seven damage and that too. Uh, what'd you summon? One of the rabbits. All right, Usagi-san. Let's do this. Gonna put that there. Going to tank up and then that and that. I wonder if we kill the Barret King Whoa, why is that synergizing with everything? Adds eight block. When this, I, I, okay, I don't understand why it's doing that. We're going to do that to tank the hell out of it. Oops, right here. I think this might end up being the end of us. He keeps summoning all these, summoning all these rabbits. Yeah. I don't think we're walking away from this one. Yeah, there, there it is. Ah. Well, this is going to be a slightly shorter episode, but if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for the notifications. Join me on Twitter and Discord as it doesn't cost you anything, but it does show support for the channel. And if you want to support me in a more direct fashion, join me over on patreon.com forward slash control alt silent. 
Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.